Hi guys, I'm Irina. Today I want to tell you something very important you need to know if you deal with Egyptians, if you want to come to Egypt as a tourist, if you want to come and live in Egypt, you must know that. There is a very common tradition to many Egyptians, I wouldn't say all, to many Egyptians that definitely is important to be known. And it's rather unusual because honestly I've never seen this in any other countries. So let's see what is that. Egyptians often say something but don't mean it at all. Sounds weird, right? Let me give you some facts. I will prove and you will see that I'm right. First of all, uh, I mentioned before that Egyptians have very good sense of humor and they know that they often say something and don't mean it and they even use it in their commercials. This Ramadan we have a commercial of Cottonil which is shown all the time on TV. Just look at this part. <laughs> So, the taxi driver tells the man, Hanli, which means like, you don't have to pay, keep the money with you. So when the man happily runs away, which actually doesn't happen in Egypt, so they show this that we say Hanli, but we don't mean it. Hanli, it means, I don't think we have this word in, e in English, in Russian or in any other languages. It means that you don't have to pay, but I don't mean it. Look. Most of Egyptians, I feel like they play a game. There is a game. All Egyptians know the rule of that game. So they all know that when you buy something, uh, you, you have to say Halli. It means you don't have to pay. On the other side, you know that you have to pay. So you will argue, no, 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 you have to take money. No, 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 Halli, I don't need your money. Come on, no, 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 please take money. No, 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 Halli, Halli, keep it, keep this money with you. No, 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 Ishan Khatri, no, no way, please, for my sake, you have to take the money. They argue to pay. And they all know that it's just a game. No one gets annoyed, uh, no one gets upset, they take it easy. You know, they have um, an Egyptian expression, kabbar de merek. Kabar de mehek. Okay, there is an Egyptian expression, kabar de mehek, which means make your brain bigger. Uh, what they mean is that take it easy. So, what they mean? Someone tells you, don't pay. And you don't, you say, why? What's going on? You say, come on, you don't have to be annoyed. Kabar de mehek, kabar de mehek. Like, take it easy, take it easy. You know, all Egyptians are in this game. They all understand, yes, they say it, but they don't mean it. Look at another example. Hello? Hey, I'm the man is staying in bed, in his pajamas. And when he gets a telephone call, what does he say? I will be at work after five minutes. How can you be at work after five minutes if you're just in bed? Just to get out of bed and physically go out, you need minimum 10. And of course, then you have to reach the office. But this is normal Egyptian game. You know, Egyptians are not annoyed. They understand. When someone tells you five minutes, they all understand like uh, half an hour, maybe one hour. So take it easy. Take it easy. But to be honest, I have to say, not all people in Egypt are like that. Many people are really punctual and they respect their time. I have a lot of friends who really come on time and when they say five minutes, they mean five minutes. Now let's see one more example from the commercials. Look, even in their commercials they say that we Egyptians always say something we don't mean. Um, okay, it's not my words, Rina's words. It's Egyptians say about themselves. It's normal here and they all know this game. So Cotonil tells you that we are not like that. If we say we have quality, we have quality. By the way, yeah, Cotonil is really good quality. You can trust them. Wow, you have a very nice necklace. Really, 
No, well, I'm lucky. Well, well, you may yeah, have it. Hold, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait. No, 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 it's very good. Well, you, you have that. Well, no, no, well, no, 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 you should have it. You should have it. You should have it. No, 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 it should not be. No, for God's sake. No, for my sake. No, 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 no. Irina, you should have. I mean it. You should have. No, wallahi abadan. No, you have to have. No, you have to have. No, abadan. No, it's really perfect for you. You have to have. I just want to say that this necklace. Irina, Irina, it's for you. It's for Dani. You must have. You have to take it. Here it is. It's a present. You cannot see no. Okay. You cannot see no. You have. Thank you so much. Here it is. Yeah, I will definitely wear it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're so kind. Yes, you're, I know, I know. Egyptians are very generous. I know. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. This is example how I honestly got some presents. I didn't mean uh, to get them. I honestly paid the compliment to my friends about the accessories. I said that I like their necklaces or uh, bracelets. They were really nice and they got them immediately as a present. So some Egyptians really mean what they say. So you have to be careful when you pay a compliment because you may get it as a present. This is how I actually got several presents. I just paid the compliment to my friends about the necklaces or bracelets. They Im immediately, they got them off and just gave them to me with the word etfaddal, you may have it. Very often the word etfaddal, you may have it, people say again like they don't mean it. So if you have, let's say, a golden expensive necklace or a golden expensive ring with a diamond and somebody tells you that it's beautiful, you have to say, you may have it, it's faddal, but you don't mean it. However, if it's just accessories, my Egyptian friends, at least my friends, when they talk to me, they eagerly take it off and offer it to me. And sometimes I can't resist, I just have to take it because if I don't take it, I see in their face that they will be really upset. So I got some accessories by this way and I wear them. Thank you, friends. I still have them with me. Have you ever experienced any of these traditions? What was your reaction? Please leave your comments down. It will be really interesting for me to see if we have similar feelings. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.